For this uh, demonstration, we're going to make this necklace made up of motifs and, and the chain, which also doubles up as a, as a nice bracelet. So you've got earrings, bracelets, all sorts in this demo. Um, so we're going to have, we use all the elements from the kit. So we've got the Ava beads, the two types of spear beads, your 11 O's and your 15's. We need a bit of thread and um, your snips, your, your uh, thread cutters and some needles. 10 worked fine because you're not going through the, through the 15's a lot, but if you can use a, an 11 or 12 needle, then that'll be great. So let's get cracking, move that to the side. So we're gonna start off with six of the Ava beads. Now the Ava beads are a double drilled bead I'll just undo that knot there we go and they've got a a hole at the v which doesn't come through it hasn't got a gap so you've got the the hole at the v and then you've got holes at the top end as well so this is a really nice bead works well we're going to have six of those i've threaded six on through the holes in the v in the in the pointy end and then I've knotted um, done a, a double knot through there and taken my thread up and through the top end hole so I've stepped it out now you're gonna have to move these to get through the, the holes angle a bit and um, but that's fine because at this stage you can move it anyway so that's absolutely fine so we're going to add on now our first layer is a e uh, 15 a spear bead and it doesn't matter which way I've used um, the paler ones and then the pinky ones around the outside so I've done spear bead 15 spear bead and then I'm going to go through the next hole of that V and then just thread it through to the next one along so 15 spear 15 the spear beads, and I didn't mention this, the spear beads have three sets of holes, so one at each pointy end and also one in the middle. And during this we use all of them, but for this part itself, we're just using one of the end ones. And again, just lift that slightly and go through each of the arms separately and pull it through. So you're going to go all the way round there. When you've got all the way round, we're going to do the next level. Now I've, I've actually cheated a little bit, so you'll see some of the next level on there. I'm not to spread my beads everywhere, but I'll show you how to do it. So we've gone all the way round with that inner level, and then we're going to add the blue and pink afterwards. So we're now, we've gone all the way round, come out of our spear bead, back to the beginning, but not through the 15. So you come from, from the spear bead, but not the 15. Then you're going to add on five of your 11 beads. So it's five of your 11 beads, then a spear. Now this time we're going through the center, center hole of the spear bead. Love these beads, they're like, they're like little lips, aren't they? So I'm gonna fetch that down. And we're going to add on, because we want to stop it there, so we're going to add on a 15, come back through that hole with the spear bead, so you don't come back through the 15, that stops it, so that holds it in place, and come through the first 11 bead you've come to, pull that through. Okay, so we've now got we've now got this attached, and then we're going to add on the next four beads. So it goes up in a V, and we're going to go through just the spear bead. Not we're not going through the 15s, we're just going through that lower hole of the spear bead and then pull that through okay so I'll do that again and the reason we want five is because we need to have it if you do it less and I try to do it with less and I'll show you afterwards I've got one that I did less with it's too tight around the points of those Ava beads so we're going to add on one two three four five of your elevens through the center hole of your spear bead so that's the first one I didn't I haven't gone through. There we go. That's a little bit dirty in that one. 
pop on your 15, come back through that hole, through the 11, pull your needle down and then add on your 4. And then you've completed your circuit. So we've now done the full circuit of, there we go, sit down. You've done your full circuit of your next layer. So we now want to add the layer of 15s that comes on the inside of this. So we're actually going to go up through our 11 beads here to the top. So I'm just going to go back up to our 11s. The reason for this is because we're actually going through the centre hole of the inner spear bead. So once you've got to the top, we're going to add on five of the 11s. Three, four. And then we're going to go through the centre of the next spear bead. Okay. So again, you're going to add on five of your 11s, four, five, up through your pink spear bead, out through your 15. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't, that's that's pure luck that I've actually gone through the, the, the 15 at the top. It doesn't matter when you get to the top, go through the spear, uh, the, the 15, and then come back down. Again, this traps the thread at the top and you've got to get under that and because it's nice and tight, there we go. But you don't want to go through the 11 below it. So you're going up through your 15, back down and pick up your next 15s. And this is creating this sort of shadow effect for your star. So I'm gonna pop that one to one side for a second. Oops wrong one and when you've done it you'll get this shadow effect going round. now I said I'd show you so on this one I used four of the of the 11s and you can see how much tighter that makes it as against these where you've got it's a little bit more spread out so just be aware that, that you don't want it too tight so when you've made your three motifs we're then going to connect them like that. So you're going to come up through. Let me get my needle back. There we go. Come here. We're going to go up through the um, spear bead and you want to come through the 15 at the top. So if you can use, you probably want to use a thinner needle than a 10 for this. Then you're going to go to the next one through that adjacent 15. There we go. So it does have quite a few pass through. Now, where you're doing the two edged ones, so here, we're going to add in another bead to form that triangle in the middle. When you're doing the center, obviously the three have already got their own um, 15. So we're just going to add a 15 here to complete that circle, go back through that one. This is why you want an, a decent uh, thin needle. So you can see if I pull those into position that they're forming your triangle. I would actually go back through that one here. Let me pull that through. There we go. And you've got your nice triangle. Then you can feed it down and depending on where you are, so if that's that one, then you could go and do that one if you've got all three pieces and then feed it through to do the third. So that's your main body complete. We now need to do the arms, the, the necklace. I'm going to pop that to one side. So we're going to thread on. So I did these separately. And we're going to thread on. 15, 16, sorry, of your spear beads. And you're going to have five of your 11s, one, so it goes five 11s, one 15 through the centre of the spear. A 15, five 11s through the end of the spear. 
five elevens, a 15 through the spear. So when you're coming through the centre of the spear, you've got a 15 either side of it. When you're going through the end and you're alternating, you've got no 15. So it just gives you an easy way of finding where you're at. The reason I want to finish coming through the centre is I'm going to add on a 15 and then I'm going to add on 6, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of my 11s and then I'm going to go back down through that centre 15 through the both 15s there we go pulling through and you've created your loop to attach your clasp to then you repeat the process coming back down so you're coming where you've come out you add on your five you're not having to add on any more 15s because they're already there and you're going through the 15 each time you hit a centre one and then you're swapping to go through the opposite so you're coming from the centre out to an end so you don't have a 15 back through the 15 and through the centre and you zigzag that all the way down so to attach your neck part to your um, motifs we've got two here we're going to be concentrating on this part so when you've come you want to come from to a position of coming out of both sides of your chain then you're going to go into so so finish with five blues and uh, a 15 then you're going to go on the in end of one of the spear beads of one of the contrast spear beads three 15s pick up your other part of your spear bead add on another 15 then we're going to go one two three so we would have our other ones coming up here we're just going to create a bridge across here with two of your 11s so i'm just going to pop it in through there so this then goes up to here with another five of your 11s. Then we're going to go through the middle and out to the outer edge of the spear bead. We're going to pick up, so we're coming to here, so we want one of our 15s into the outer edge of a spear on the main motif. Come back up. I'm just going to turn that around to make it easier to thread. And these will be quite full, so just be careful how you go. The thinner the needle, the better. So that is then coming out of the top of your main motif spear bead. Go through the 15 and add on another four. So you end up with five 15s, which will take you round to the top of that spear bead so you're not coming from the bottom you're coming up and around the top to create that sort of action then we want to come back down through the middle so we're going to go through that central hole it's so handy having that central hole out to the other side of that spear bead because you can sort of hide your thread then we're going to go through the first two of those 15s on the bridge we're going to add in three of your 11s through the end of the inner white spear bead and back up the other side and then you connect the back through there and then you're going to create connect the other side of the spear bead in the same way figure of eight round there and attach like you've done here and then that's your connection completed.